So with that in mind, what makes an excellent 38 Degrees campaign and how do you think the newly forming local groups might, might fit into that? I guess the, the, st the starting point for a 38 Degrees campaign to be uh, a success is that it has to be a campaign that 38 Degrees members want to run. Um, 38 Degrees only works through people power, so if our campaigns are not ones our members want to run, they, they just won't work, um, which is why at the heart of what those of us who are lucky to work for 38 Degrees, the heart of what we have to do each day is try and understand what 38 Degrees members want to do through sending out surveys, asking people on the Facebook group, um, looking at the email suggestions we're getting in. Um, but then sec secondly, I guess there needs to be some kind of strategy, some way through, a, a sense we need to understand who the decision maker is, um, what they're trying to do, how we can shift what they're trying to do and you know, work out um, in conversation between the staff and the members what the best, me what the best tactics are to, to have an influence. Um, is it about a huge petition to the Prime Minister or um, fundraising to hire in a lawyer to do some forensic legal arguing about it or t is it about getting, getting it in the media and how are we going to do that if so? I think the local groups will fit into that in, well, at least two ways. One way is that, you know, I, I started by saying that it's really important for the 38 Degrees campaign is a campaign that our members really want to run and see, see as a really important issue. 38 Degrees groups are going to be an important source of ideas about the campaigns we run, um, whether that's through being in touch with the office and making suggestions or through just starting them, using the Campaigns by You platform to start those campaigns and gathering momentum and then the wider 38 Degrees membership joining in. Um, secondly, I think um, 38 Degrees groups are going to be really important um, because they'll mean we have more means of putting pressure on decision makers um, in the real world, um, in local areas as well as just online. So whether that's um, we're trying to put pressure on a company and we're able to not just deliver a big petition to their head office, not just um, write all over their Facebook wall and tweet at their company executives, but also have a presence outside their, their local high street shops up and down the country. Um, be able to be handing leaflets out to their workers as they go into, into work there and starting debates in the company canteen, all those kind of things. Um, or whether it's um, we're targeting a vote in Parliament and MPs are not just hearing from us in their inboxes um, or being phoned up, they're being visited in their, in their, in their local constituency office. It just, uh, you know, a good campaign often starts online with something like a petition, but a great campaign will usually end with all kinds of different tactics and activities happening all up and down the country and obviously 38 Degrees members being organised locally is going to just make that a lot more possible. And finally, in the room today we've got people who have come from lots of different areas who've come together to hopefully start a local 38 Degrees group. Some will have lots of experience campaigning, some may not. I just wonder if you had any sort of final words for them, any, any words of advice or to, to finish with today? I guess the, the, the main thing I'd want to do is just encourage them to go for it um, and in, in really, in going for it, don't think that you need to have all the answers or that all of you in your different areas need to do the same thing. Do what feels right in your area and um, remember that probably your greatest resource in working out what the best thing to do in your area is, is going to be the other 38 Degrees members who get involved. Um, 38 Degrees is all about everyone having a say, everyone getting involved and that, that means making sure that you listen to everyone but it also takes some pressure off you. Um, you're, you're not going to be alone on this, obviously there'll always be staff in the office who you can ring up and ask for advice but your, your key allies in this adventure of getting a 38 Degrees local group going in your area are going to be other 38 Degrees members in your area and my experience of meeting 38 Degrees members all over the country and I've, I've, I've been doing this for six years now and I've, I've spoken at events all over the place and the one, the one common thing seems to be that 38 Degrees members are really inspiring and motivated and up for helping with stuff where, wherever I've been so I'm sure that will be the case wherever you are.